How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we will be installing RetroArch for the Xbox One. Now this only works in dev mode so if you don't have it you're gonna need it for this video. Also I've covered RetroArch before in a previous video but today's video is going to be the updated version which is 1.7.6. So in the process we're gonna talk about the installation and I'm gonna say a little bit of things that I like about it. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see on the screen, I'm already in dev mode and the first thing I'm going to want to do is connect to my web browser using the device portal. So let's go ahead and switch to my desktop view and see that on my web browser, I am already connected in my device portal to my Xbox and I have the files that we need for this video. These two zip files will be in a link in the description down below and you'll have your RetroArch 1.7.6 build and you'll have BIOS so that way we can play some emulators more smoothly like PlayStation 1 and, and so on. So the first thing we're going to want to do is when you download these files you're going to want to create a new folder. So I created one that's called updated RetroArch Xbox One. So you can name it whatever you want or don't name it at all. It's just for the convenience of being organized. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to right click and use your software which is 7-zip. I already have WinZip but for some reason this file is in 7-zip format so only 7-zip will be able to extract it. So you can do a simple Google search if you don't have 7-zip. Also 7-zip is a free to download software so it's good nonetheless. So once you have 7-zip right click and then extract it here and let that run its course. After we're gonna wanna right click and extract to here on the BIOS so now we have our folders available now what we're going to do is go into the official RetroArch file go ahead and go to your device portal click add and then we'll click uh, we'll drag and drop our package file here and then when you click next it's asking for dependencies go ahead and click the dependencies and drag and drop in there as well sometimes this will not appear when you drag and drop it you might have to redo um, reload your device portal or sometimes it works without it so go ahead and try both if you have any issues so go ahead and click start and it's gonna start to upload so I'll, I'll take this time to talk about why I like it so there's pretty much one thing why I like it also the older version I had you would have to be connected to your device portal just like this one however when you're installing ROMs you need to use the device portal so sometimes the bigger files, let's say like PlayStation, would take forever unless you had really good Wi-Fi. Of course I don't. But on this version, the new version, they've added USB support. So that's really good news. You're going to be able to use or well, put all your ROMs in your USB and uh, load them from there. So that's great. that's pretty much the only thing that I can see that is of updated also it's supposed to be that it's uh, running faster so we're gonna find that out together just waiting for the upload to complete Okay, so the package has successfully registered. You can close here and notice that your RetroArch has been installed into your Xbox. If you look on your Xbox, you'll notice that it's already there as well. So I'm going to click back on my folder and twice and go into my BIOS. Right now, we can't put anything inside our RetroArch because we don't have any, uh, we haven't done its first run. So unfortunately, we're going to have to go into our RetroArch right now and just do a run and update assets and stuff like that so let's go into our Xbox and click on RetroArch I don't know if it's RetroArch or RetroArch so it's a little tongue twister okay so now we're in RetroArch and we're about halfway done so let's go ahead and click on online updater this is always needs to be done so that way we can have our retro arc running smoothly 
on the update assets it's gonna take some time so I'll go ahead and fast forward that but just for your information you, it's gonna take a while to update assets okay now I'm gonna fast forward and I'll see you at the end okay so we're just about to finish with the extraction and wait for it to change its settings and install all right let's go back one and quit RetroArch and uh, RetroArch is ready to go however we need to put our BIOS in so what we're gonna wanna do is go back into our desktop and now that we ran RetroArch and did the assets for the first time, now we're going to have files that we can put in our device portal. So go ahead and click on on uh, File Explorer. I'm sorry, Home File Explorer, Local App Data, RetroArch. Then go to Local State, and here is the files we're going to want to look for System, and then uh, look for this. BIOS folder right here so mine's already on it but yours might not so look for your file wherever it's at on desktop scroll down and find your file look for the BIOS folder and do one of these all at a time upload they're small files so it doesn't take long I'll probably speed this part up mm -hmm. okay so now we have our BIOS folders set inside now we can go back into our retro arc and test our games now I do have ROMs already on my USB so I can show you however I can't show you where I get my ROMs from and uh, but a simple Google search would be easy you just search the name of what you want and ROM right at the end of it and there's a lot of websites where you can find stuff like this so we're back in retro arc and everything's running smoothly now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna let's try out some games I'm gonna just do one. Oh, I'm gonna do one and after I test it I'm going to do my outro but I will play in like two or three other games just so you can see so if you wanna stick around you can but yeah let's check it out so let's go to load core and you have all these cores in here that you can search for has a lot it's great so let's try 9x so it's loaded as you can see in the bottom now let's go to load content Oh, before, I'm sorry, before we do that, let's go into the settings tab, go to input, scroll down to right here, menu toggle gamepad combo. And this is so that way when you're in game, you don't have to quit RetroArch just to get out of the game. You push this, and now when you push start and select on your Xbox controller, you will be able to toggle the menu screen and uh, exit the game from there. So do that first before you play a game okay so our core is loaded let's go to load content let's go to right here down where it says open on the older version it didn't have this option which is, this is great they don't need to do any more versions if this is it and it seems to be running a little bit fast too so we did uh, SNES emulator go down to select and it's gonna open all these files for you so let's just try one so click on Donkey Kong or whatever game you have go to load archive this one's already it says current core so let's go ahead and try it out let's see so it won't be loud if an emulator does not work for you you can go ahead and put a different uh, emulator because I'm using SNES 9x 
just regular but there's also 2010 version but there you go it's working guys um, let me just go ahead and test it real quick the, the screen quality um, as far as full screen you can change that and I'll show you right now let me just get into game real quick well, there you go runs pretty smooth uh, but press start and select to get out and um, here you can do this from the beginning of the video as well but I just didn't but you would go to the settings tab again go to video and um, check right here on the core the um, sorry the aspect ratio so you can change it to 16 by 9 which will expand the screen so now as you can tell in the background that our game has now been put in full screen so there you go guys that is RetroArch for the Xbox One the updated version 1.7.6 uh, as always if you like the video thumbs up is appreciated uh, if you have any issues I do keep up to date with my comments if you want to get to me faster you can follow me on social media and message me there you can put a comment on my video and say I messaged you on this social media if you want to know what my social media is check my banner on my YouTube channel page and all my social media account IDs will be there if you like this content uh, subscribe is appreciated as well and yeah thanks for watching guys and enjoy some games do take a long time to load guys so give it a chance if it takes a long time if it's on a black screen wait for it to load its game